Hey YouTube, it's Kesmir, and I'm back with Firewatch. We shall see what the day holds for us today. Hey Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh... You know, PC or whatever they say. You gotta be PC, guys. Oh God, you are the whitest man. Wow, I don't need a spotting scope for that. And I take shorts, offense to that. What do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good. 25, 30 years, yeah. But um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Um, I do have a beard, yes. A uh, pretty thick beard. The thickest. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Um. Well, dealing with our wife. Probably have tired, tired eyes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. It sounds like fun. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Are we mentally prepared, folks? I think so. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's oh, not really yeah. that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. A9. Hello, nom, Henry. Nom. Having a nice afternoon? The best. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were uh -oh. supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. That's not good. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Probably not. They're missing. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll 
I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. There's lives at stake. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. And I will. Make sure you call the popos. You tell them what's going on. Henry. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What's going on? This isn't good. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Julia. Is that my wife? Babe, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Am I hallucinating? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm hmm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Bye. Hmm. But I was sleep talking or something. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans prunes jerky you know my sister eats six prunes a day six she's like really precise about it she'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function goodness so like two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night you were sleeping i guess and all i heard was the name jules through the mumbles i just thought it was so sweet I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I'm pretty broken up about it. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Uh, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to... Get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. Goodness. I've just lied about it for over 10 years and uh for some reason i wanted you to know <sighs> i figured you've told me so much about you so you know there's something about me we both fucked up well then are we all just running from our problems box oh, 
I see. So I could take. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. I'll just take mine. Take all of them if I wanted. Let's not be jerks. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? All right. We're going to end this episode here. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.